Where is the dog present in this scene? Can you spot the Bow Wow? Thanks to the most cutting-edge recording equipment and a patient film crew, you can make out the shape of a dog behind this window curtain. Were you bad? This is our domestic world. Come here! The bedroom is where the day usually starts and ends. Whether oversized or compact, reaching the bed becomes an obsession for the pet. Soft, cushy materials such as sheets and mattresses make the most ideal landing pads. There, everyone may finally take stock of the day and stretch their limbs upon a plinth of downy feathers. Dog groups are drawn in to cool off for hanging with the boys pool party. The pool pooch gathers in a throng to enable maximum chillaxin. Hanging with the boys is an important part of bonding culture amongst aquatic faring mammals. If overexcited, they will rush the pool and disturb the calm waters, turning a relaxing soak into a splishy splashy. Here, the Relaxus Maximus Doggus takes advantage of this blue plastic pond to cool his tail and toasty rump. A ride in the car can be a special treat. Lady, we're going to the vet. Ready? The annual trek to the veterinarian, however, yeah, is an unpleasant compulsory surprise. Not knowing the destination is simply one of the pitfalls or delights in the undeniably swift transportation that is the human's vehicular mobile. Whether the trek ends at grandma's house or the groomer's is the proclivity of the pet parent. Ooh. Humans in the developed provinces generally take the bathroom for granted. This small damp room baffles petrifies or beguiles our precious pets. For the moisture inclined, bath time is more like spa time. A steamy soak relaxes the whiskers, opens the pores, and freshens the paws. What is up with that? The savage cabinet cats are mountain climbers, terrorizing innocent storage spaces in their quest for food. The possibility of sustenance is too great to pass up, despite the apparent danger of loose debris. Unfortunately, this cat lacks the perspective to differentiate between a meal and antihistamines. Once an animal has earned the privilege to the best seats in the living room, it has fulfilled its ultimate potential as a good doggo, and is honored with safe passage to the comforts of the couch. Do you like it? <laughs> Animal packs will use these soft crests to form a meeting place from which they can call to each other. The nightly howl draws in roaming lone wolfers from across the house to this one point. It is a beautiful and mournful sound. Patience is wearing thin on whatever day of self-isolation we find ourselves in. The human species begins to wonder, is dominance of the shared habitat being questioned? Is the parent becoming overwhelmed by the once docile pet? A needy enough pet will use their darkest weapons at disposal, such as desperate howls and tragic eye expression, to weasel in betwixt typing fingers and a keyboard. Right below the couch is the lawn of carpet, preferred collecting grounds for scavengers of the living room. Here, on the carpet, the vacuum is king. <laughs> Those who tread on this territory risk an encounter with the subspecies Vacuumus roboticus.
Some packs use their strength and numbers to put up a formidable fight. And even these efforts pale in comparison to the Roomba's power. <laughs> to eat is to survive. But even more so in the life of the domestic pet, food is the greatest motivator and equalizer. As seen in the what? kitchen region, pets will exercise every talent in their arsenal to get fed, whether they need it or not. No. If the human beings of the domicile are unable to develop a foolproof system for checking insatiable hunger, the cleverest of beasts also become the chubbiest. Watch evolution in action as the more cunning tater feline comfortably sits atop her throne of spuds. Her understanding of the potato as a valuable and versatile carbohydrate gives her the edge on the less domesticated competitors. Many will take the opportunity to push for large supplies of treats and sugar for caloric maximization. For under what other conditions can the couch-ridden snacking canine so thrive? In these tense moments of low supply, competition for resources trickles down to our pet children, who must look to us for cues of proper protocol. The animal urge to hide a treasure serves as a periodic rationing system. Hide that bone for later, instead of chewing up the whole thing now. Waiting in a socially distanced line? Fantastic! Touching items in the store that you won't purchase? Bad doggy. Sharing the TP? Well done, little cat. Stealing a kibble or a sweet carrot? How uncouth. Sharing your precious findings with the family? That's a good chunk. The delicate balance of nutrition is maintained by calories going in and calories being burned. So, when snacking frequencies are increased due to, say, a global pandemic quarantining everyone to their homes, take an extra lap around the house. Now is an especially important vacuum in learning more about the most unique and curious eating behaviors on our domestic world. <laughs> 